Hello, it's Robert Miner with Dynamic Traders Group with their DT Trade Strategies for the week of November 8th. Uh, if you're interested in these videos and the educational value as well as the analysis and trade strategy value, uh, check out our DT reports at dynamictraders.com where we do much more comprehensive videos a couple times a week with trade tutorials, live webinars for our subscribers every other week, as well as brief updates every day where we keep up in all the major financial and a few of the commodity markets. And if you like this video, click on the like button, share it with your friends, be sure to subscribe, and you might want to also join Traders News at dynamictraders.com. It's free. We just need your email address and we'll notify you whenever we put up uh, a new contribution. We do it every Wednesday and Saturday and then now and then for uh, special notices. So you might want to join Traders News. Yeah, you'll get some new information, new updates, get prepared for some specific trades. Okay, let's get started and take a look at a comprehensive look actually at a market that I believe is an immediate position for an immediate trade strategy this Monday. We're going to take a comprehensive look at the dollar. And of course, everything we say about the dollar is just inverted for the euro. Um, every few weeks, I do a, a big picture report of one market or another for our DT Report subscribers. And a big picture report looks at sometimes multi-month to multi-year trends and uh, possible reversals. So we're going to take a look at the dollar today, and I'll just take some ex excerpts out of the big picture report. Going to bring it right up to date through this past Friday, which gave us an, a really, really important signal on Friday. So this is monthly data of the continuous contract of the dollar index. And more than likely, we won't go through the details of it. And by the way, you can ignore the red labeling. That's an alternative labeling. We're not going to spend the time going through those details right now. But more than likely, as of last January, the dollar made a five-wave decline into what we call a wave one low. And as of just this last week, uh, it, the dollar is in a position to complete a wave two correction. Uh, what follows a correction? Well, it's a resumption of the trend to a new extreme, a resumption of the trend prior to the correction. In other words, if the dollar completes a correction in this time frame, in this immediate time frame, uh, it should then be followed by a resumption of the bear trend to a new low. Um, we won't go over all of the details of uh, the long-term position but it basically the bottom line is more than likely the dollar is in a major bear trend and will continue in a major bear trend for many months to well below uh, this early January's low. So that's the monthly uh, wave count and position of the dollar. Let's take a look at the weekly. We're going to get right down to daily and a specific trade, by the way. This is the weekly just coming off of the March 2020 high. It was a five wave decline into the January low. Into the April high was actually a really nice ABC. It's what we call a, a triple three. It was an ABC, ABC down, ABC up. Um, <clears throat> And that can that can be different sorts of Elliott wave complex corrections. Don't worry about it. it. The point is, it's clearly part of a correction. So because the dollar then continued sideways to up over these last few months, probably an A and a B, and probably the dollar's in the final stages of completing a, a C. That's fantastic to be aware that that's the case. So let me let me re review just a little bit of the technical position. Um, as of this past week, the dollar is what we call dual look back overbought and the weekly momentums. And that's a position which warns that it's near a weekly high. And boy, look at this lethargic advance since this impulsive decline into the January low. Very characteristic of a uh, correction. And the weakness is demonstrated by this entire second part of the correction, which is probably going to be a wave C, has been maintained below the medium line um, of this uh, Andrews lines. And that's fairly significant. 
It just uh, represents the relative weakness of this advance. An impulsive advance would reach up to, this is called the warning line. By the way, do not call this a pitchfork. <laughs> That's, that's the amateur name for this is Pitchfork. Uh, the people that know uh, Andrew's uh, medium lines and warning lines uh, would be horrified if you called it a Pitchfork. Um, but be that as it may, it's, it's demonstrating a considerable amount of weakness. So the weekly momentums, they got dual, look back, oversold. Uh, as of last week, prices in the probable price zone uh, to complete this advance, this five-wave advance, which would end up being a wave C. And uh, on the 12th, the 12th would be, uh, well, let's see, what day would that be? Well, that's, yeah, that's, this is weekly data. So it's the week ending the 12th, which is this coming week, uh, would be the ideal time to complete the uh, weekly high based on mo momentum cycles, not based on price cycles. It would be a momentum high, which frequently coincides with price cycles. But the point is, we're in a key chart geometry position. We're in a key price position. We're in a key time position next week and a, a very important dual look back momentum position, the weekly data. Everything has come together to be in a position to complete an ABC correction. So notice my language. Um, I'm not, it's not a forecast. It's uh, We're stating the technical position of the market that as of last week, the dollar has reached a position to complete uh, an ABC correction. When that correction is complete, more than likely the bear trend will continue to a new low. We're going to see the specific trade strategy on the daily data. So before we continue with the specific trade strategy for the dollar and the euro beginning this coming Monday, just want to put a little plug in here. If you're interested in more timely updates, uh, not just on the dollar and the euro, but on the stock indexes, bonds, notes, euro, dollar, Bitcoin, Ethereum. We added those a few months ago and boy, we're just knocking out of the park with them. Uh, gold, silver, GDX, crude, soybeans, and more. Uh, think about joining our Traders News at dynamictraders.com. It's absolutely free, no cost, no charge card needed. Uh, we put up uh, at least every Wednesday and Saturday, we put up some uh, information, including some trade strategies and analysis of different markets. Gives you a little taste of what we do in our uh, DT reports. So check that out. And uh, we hope that eventually you'll join our uh, community of DT traders with their DT reports where you get updates every single day. Okay. Uh, and by the way, keep really alert in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and gold and silver this coming week. Um, we suspect um, uh, by the week ending November 19th at the latest, and probably this coming week, there's going to be some significant action in those two markets. Okay, let's get back to the dollar. So this is the dollar daily data. And uh, it's just from, well, from this March 2021 high. We want to focus into the immediate position of the dollar. And here is that position. Again, it's a, probably a wave C. And that's kind of a sloppy uh, uh, waves one through five, but close enough, particularly given the uh, daily or the weekly momentums are dual look back overbought. And here's the daily momentum. It's just reached overbought as of Friday. So it's in a position to complete a daily high within the next day or two, more than likely, uh, sometimes two to three days after it just reaches overbought, then we get uh, the bear reversal. But we can wait for that to occur, or here's the trigger. And this trigger is important because we're in a position to complete not just a multi-week high, but a multi-month high. So again, I'm not forecasting anything. We're identifying conditions that have a high probability outcome. And these conditions indicate we're in a position for that weekly high and uh, potentially the multi-month corrective high. And if that's the case, once the reversal is concern, con, uh, confirmed, once the weekly high is confirmed, that has the potential for having completed an ABC and then continuing much lower in a consistent bear trend. Uh, 
So there's a couple things to look for in the days ahead. Number one is a close just below the November 3rd close at 93.853 will signal that the weekly high should be complete. That's a significant signal in of itself for at least a trade probably lasting two or three weeks. And you will be able to have a really short stop on that. Um, so really, a really tight stop on a trade that will probably last a few weeks, if not a few months, to a new low. And uh, you don't have to use futures. You have to use options. You can use uh, non-leveraged ETFs. A lot of different vehicles to use to take advantage of this information. The second level you want to be aware of is this wave A closing high. If the dollar should come down and then close below 93,321, which is not very far below where the market's at now, um, that would be a confirmation that at least a weekly high was complete and more than likely the ABC correction is complete. That's called a closing overlap. If the market uh, exceeds what we believe is a wave A high and then turns around and closes back into the closing range of the wave A, that's a closing overlap and a really strong signal that uh, the market is in a correction and the correction is in a position to be complete. Well, that's it for today. This is about the dollar and you can just flip Flip it inversely for the euro. In other words, beginning Monday, the euro's in a position to develop a specific go-long trade strategy. And these may be significant reversals in these two markets. That's not a forecast. That's just they're in a position to make these reversals. We've identified a specific trade strategy with very minimum capital exposure. So if by chance there's not a follow-through in the, in the direction anticipated, well, our capital exposure is minimal, and potentially because of trade strategies, we can actually, at certain waypoints, adjust our stop to protect uh, our capital and get it up to break even real quick. So a lot of times we can be wrong on the uh, market direction and the type of reversal that's being made, but we can actually make a little money or at the very least protect the uh, capital very quickly. So that's what trading is all about. It's not about forecasting. It's about trade strategies. That's it for today. Robert Miner here, over and out.